Welcome back to PSC Tech Bytes. Today I want to talk with you about a topic that I think is really interesting. In fact, have you ever wondered how many files uh, have you shared with someone else uh, or what kind of files are shared with you by others or stuff like that? Well, luckily with Microsoft Graph uh, we can easily query through a set of endpoints uh, the files that we share with others or the files shared with us uh, or the permission sharing for any specific file in SharePoint Online or OneDrive. As such, you can easily create a dashboard, for example, using a SharePoint framework web part, or an adaptive card extension for Microsoft Viva Connections, or a PowerShell script or a CLI script, or whatever else you like, in order to provide interesting and useful governance tools to your end users. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So, here in the Microsoft Graph online documentation, we can see the APIs I'm referring to. First of all, the list shared one, which allows us to get the list of shared files for a specific user. So, we can provide the user ID or the principal name, and as long as we have proper permissions, like I like it right here in the permission section, we can get the shared files, as well as we can use the Share With Me uh, API, which allows us to get the list of files that are shared with the current user, as well as uh, targeting any item in the uh, OneDrive or SharePoint Online uh, repositories, we can get the permissions of that item, including the sharing permissions. So, for example, here I have in my OneDrive a sample document called document1.docx and using the Graph Explorer we can see how to play with these functionalities. So, I can, for example, get the list of files that I shared with other people. I can simply say slash inside slash shared and by running this query I will get all the files that my user is sharing right now with other people. Or I can use the shared with me and I can clearly see what other people share with me. So I can see files, I can see who share them with me and stuff like that. So really useful information to create a dashboard. As well as if we look for a drive, for example, and for a specific set of items in a drive, like for example, we can get access to the children items of the root of my OneDrive. In here, if we place a filter based on the name of the file, for example, just to get the document one I showed you before, and here is the file that I'm looking for, I can simply say that for this item, if I get the ID, I can make an explicit query for that item instead of using the filter. And for that item, I want to see what the permissions are. And by running this query, I can see the list of permissions. And again, I can see that this file has been shared to other people, so I can do proper monitoring and governance of my file shares. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.